There are so many ironies and heartbreaking paradoxes woven into the fabric of our choices as human beings. There's so many that are so often self-defeating, ultimately, despite our very best intentions. And one of the absolute classics is this. If today what you want to do is figure out a way, hmm, how can I disappoint and frustrate as many people in my life who I truly care about, including myself? How can I do that? I know what I'll do. I'll try to please everybody. Trying to please everybody is one of the most dependable ways to frustrate, challenge, and disappoint everybody, including yourself. Now, this is layered, and this is about monitoring your motivations and trying to get to know yourself better. So often, we will make choices around other people, people we love, not out of necessarily an inspired, loving perspective, but out of an avoidance mentality. We don't want to disappoint this person. We don't want to frustrate that person. We don't want to let down this. Stop. Stop all of that. All of that. Not only is it fear-based and analytically we can talk about it has roots and anxiety and separation and giving too much power to other people, blah, blah, blah. Let's set aside the psychological, the, 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 the rational analysis for a second and just look at it pragmatically. It doesn't work. You, you, time and again, you've been there. I've been there. You get to this point where someone's pissed off at you. Someone else is frustrated, whatever. And you don't say it, but you're thinking and feeling, hey, I was just trying to shut up. That makes sense. Yes, your, your sense of justice speaking in your heart is I was trying to do a good. Yes, you need to honor that. You need to understand that. And if you really want to understand that, you understand that despite, it's like a child's idea of trying to do something nice for people that, of course, because of the pragmatics of the situation, does not work. It won't work. That bucket won't carry that water. We need to gently but firmly work to not be overly focused on pleasing other people, if only because we hurt them, if only because we let them down. Now, that's the if only. The real reason is this is your life. You need to focus first and foremost on if you want to serve other people, great. One of the best ways to do that is try to find what's right for you and have the courage and the acceptance to follow that. That is a great way to serve other people. It gets confused because that can seem and feel very selfish. But there are so many reasons. I mean, your job today, first and foremost, I would suggest, is to try to figure out a way to please yourself. Now, what's great is whether you start here, you're going to end up here. And whether you start here, you're going to end up at the same spot. Because if you think focusing just on your immediate wants and needs, sort of in a childlike way. If you think that's going to ultimately please you, you'll find you're wrong. Might work for a year or a decade or 20 years, whatever. Eventually you're going to find it's hollow and it doesn't work and it alienates the people around you. In the same way, if all you're going to do is focus on pleasing other people, good luck. Good luck because they have a job that's separate from yours and you have a job that's separate from them. And that is you can't make other people happy. That's their job. Your job is to try to figure out how to make yourself happy. And I don't have judgment. I have nothing but empathy for how complicated and how quickly this can, you know, arrive at a, a real muddle. We need inspiration. We need uh, encouragement to find the bravery to try to focus and understand that we need to create our own happiness but in a way that includes other people's and try not to get those two confused. You know, even just your modeling, if you want to really serve other people, be a model of someone who is able to walk that complicated walk between figuring out what they want to do without necessarily disregarding the people around them. Okay? Be that model. You want to really serve others. Do that. So today, 
think in your mind, maybe you're, and if you're already past this and you've made sense of this in your life, wow, good for you. That's super rare. And how lucky the people in your life are, particularly if you can verbalize it a bit, because so often someone can do something pretty amazing that has really balanced and, and wise and powerful and other people can fail to see it and fail to, which is, you know, first, we maybe you want your ego might want a bit of credit for being able to walk the walk in a certain way. And mine certainly does in moments, you know, I know I don't find, I have no shame around that, that, you know, along with everybody else in my community, there, there is my ego in there somewhere for sure. Where it gets complicated though, is if that's all you want. Okay. So what's great about trying to be that model, okay, not out of ego, but out of service that you're trying to be that model is if that's something that inspires you to uh, become a more enlightened and powerful person. Awesome. And if the idea that other people, you know, when you have contact with people and you're able to humbly communicate some of the things you're trying to do, that can inspire them. People can see that and, you know, that can be inspiring. So there's so many reasons not to get caught up in that whole pleasing other people. It's such a trap. It's such a trap. Now, one of the other reasons we try to please other people and this is where it's a little bit more existential, but I think it's an important piece here. Your life is your own. Nobody else has it. Your relationship to your life lies at the very core of your existence. And it is inherently uh, solo. Your life, you're alone with your life in some regards when it comes to responsibility and choice. And a lot of people, understandably, find that, um, that uh, the exclusivity, the ultimate exclusivity of that relationship, uh, lonely. Lonely. To be alone with that. To find it overwhelming. And so in response to the loneliness of that primary relationship you have between you and you, some people then look to others to create more meaning in their life, their relationship to others. And I think my relationship, and perhaps your relationship to other people, is so important and so beautiful and so grounding and makes life so much richer and fuller. All of which doesn't change the fact that in some regards, I think life is inherently lonely. Where I go to in this moment is a, an analogy I think about a lot, and that is a wave on the ocean, you know? I think of each of us as for a period of time, we, you know, we come from this, this uh, uh, sort of identity list, no identity in the water. We're among the being. the, uh, And for a time, we are individuals here. And this wave caps and there, there I am or here you are. They're distinct. They're separate. They're distinct. They're absolutely connected together. They're all <laughs> in the same ocean there. They're seamlessly connected. Okay. But, at the same, but there's a sense of isolated individual identity. And I think that's beautiful. And I think that's an opportunity. And I can appreciate the if you or I sometimes feel that that is lonely. Even though we're all connected, we're all there. This this solo expression of, of being, in a sense, this way for a moment. It's, and it can be daunting. Uh, you know, the idea of being uh, all alone, in a sense. You are that one way for this period of time can be overwhelming. And I think in response to the anxiety of the solo responsibility, people do, we all do a lot of funky stuff. And our relationship with other people, other waves can be complicated as a result of our anxiety, our loneliness, and, and the, the, the enormous weight of, of the responsibility of being just you for a time. And then ultimately we can set up false gods and we can look to laws and different things to try to have guides and to, to try to reassure ourselves, am I, am I doing okay? How am I doing? Am I doing okay? However, at the end of it all, it really comes down to you following your own heart, being your own judge and jury, and hopefully compassionately and gently and all that stuff up and not getting caught up uh, in trying to please other people by setting them up as some sort of arbiters and uh, as tempting as it is. So given all that, uh, I, uh, I encourage you today to, 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 to think about this, how, the ways in which you try to please other people, particularly vis-a-vis -vis how often we end up frustrating and disappointing them because of those very same intentions.